So, Jai Shri Krishna to all of you and welcome to our wonderful program, Attain Happiness and Peace through Bhagavad Gita. And again, this 18 weeks special program is focused on the seven steps. I'm your host, Satya Kalra, the founder of Path Anandam. And with Guruji's blessing, I am here speaking to all of you based on these books which he asked me to write without knowing how to do it, but with his blessing. And I have been doing this for almost now 30 years with PowerPoints. So this is my favorite way of doing it. And I get a lot of feedback on that, that yes, since it is a visual, visual presentation, they can focus on it and it's easy to understand. So I have been carrying on, on with that. And this presentation is based on what is the purpose of our life? Or even the purpose of this presentation, these 18 days program, attain healthy, happy, and peaceful life through Bhagavad Gita and meditation. Though I might use some other wisdom, knowledge from the other books, but still the mainly the focus is on my question and God's answers, which is the Bhagavad Gita book. And as I said before, this is a bestseller. Actually, there's another book, 108 Mantras to Awaken Your Soul. This is concise of 126 mantras, which help me to practice and transform. So anytime I have a difficulty with some issues, I always take one mantra, practice it. Sometimes it takes 30 days to practice that particular changing the habit. But this 108 mantras are based on that. And this is the average person's issues. So even if you have not made the list of your issues, all the issues have been addressed in this book, in 108 mantras. And it is based on the summary of Bhagavad Gita, the seven steps. Going from vishad, from unhappiness, to getting the prasad, experiencing that I am Satchitananda. My body, mind, and soul all are connected. In other words, body, mind, and soul, health, happiness, and then union with yourself experiencing Satchit Ananda. And of course, these are the seven steps which we will be speaking about. But one thing I want to bring you, which we talked about, that we are made with Triguni Maya, Tamsik, Raisik, Satvik. And these seven steps will take us, hopefully, to know about ourselves. Where are we? How can we go beyond these Triguni Maya and become Gunatit? In other words, how to become Nartu Narayan, man to God? Again, the goal of every human being doesn't matter at what position they are. We all want to be very happy, live in peace, love, ananda. And the beauty, it is, it is all free and it is a part of our DNA. Our DNA, our true nature is Satchit Ananda. But due to many situations in life, our health, emotional issues, old baggages, what we carry, unhappiness, hurt, guilt, resentments, dissatisfaction in life. Again, all this results into guilt, feeling, doubts, fear, stress. Because if we don't have this, the messages come from supreme power. It is not, these are the blockages which we carry. 
and with the social environment, with COVID-19, a lot of things have changed. People who never had fear, develop so much fear of losing their family members, health, et cetera. So this is not just you and me. This is a story of every human being now, a common person. But we are here to talk about here, it says mind. Body, we can, body, mind, whatever our mind carries, it translates into our body. We develop the diseases. If we are emotionally upset, for example, then what happens? Our blood pressure goes high. Our insomnia, we cannot sleep at night. We are feeling upset. This is all the function of mind. And many things are carried in our mind, in our subconscious mind. So Bhagavad Gita talks about how, what should we do with this mind? And Lord Krishna explains it so well. He says, go beyond it. Uplift yourself. When we are upset, it means we are in the lower consciousness because we cannot think properly. We are unhappy and complaining, resenting, all these things is called our lower self. And when we are happy, peaceful, in anandam, that is our higher, higher self. So Lord Krishna says, Uddhera Atma Atmanev. Now Atmanev Vasadev. Atmanev hi manu atna. Bandur Atmanev Rippur Atma. Bandur Atna Satasse. Yen te Atna Jit. Anatna Stu Shatrupet. Vartet Atmanev. In other words, one must uplift himself or herself and not degrade himself. The self alone is his friend and self alone his enemy for him. Who has conquered his self, lower self by the self, higher self? His self is the friend. In other words, when we counsel our self with our inner voice, uplift ourselves, motivate ourselves, pull ourselves out of this complaints, negativity. Then we are our own friend. But if we continue to think about negatively, then we are our enemy. So what should we do here? So how to become healthy, happy, and peaceful? Remove the causes of old baggage, whatever we are carrying guilt, resentment, all those because here our, we are made with subconscious mind. Our mind is, has a conscious mind which we are talking right now. Subconscious mind, this is a storage, whatever we carry from this life to previous life. These are all stored in our superconscious mind. And then, I mean, that's a uh, subconscious mind. And when we eliminate these things, then we can connect to our superconscious mind, which is in the center, which is which when we experience the meditation, we see the vibration in our work, we feel the vibration in our head, and then feel something is falling on our head, which is the messages come from the superconscious mind. So what should we do? How to remove these old baggages? By self-disciplining and self-transformation making mind our friend, not our enemy. And the method we are focusing or using, and actually this AAA method is not just for this. Anything you do in your life, first you become aware of it. In this case, basically, I am, am I unhappy physically, mentally, emotionally? We have to live in that, we have to ask that question then analyze it, where is it coming from? It's just like a, you go to a doctor, first you have to be aware of it. Yes, I have a headache, I have a constant headache, I have some issue, it's not healing with my aspirins and other things, so let me go visit my doctor. When you go to the doctor, he does all kind of diagnosis. Where is it coming from? Similarly, where my unhappiness is coming from? And then, 
self action for correction he gives the treatment he gives us a prescription similarly we have to have our own action for correction which will be the treatment which will eliminate our miseries our habits our concerns as i always repeat vishe vikar mitao we have to remove our all of our miseries what is causing us aadat buri sudhar lo ho gaya bhajan let's move on with all what is coming preventing us to be happy and all this when we do it we feel so pure this is a purity it is called the self purification and then we are connected with supreme power we feel that inner happiness anandam satchit ananda we always smile because we know how to handle it it does not mean that things won't happen but we just learn how to manage it so how to do it again self and awareness analysis and action for correction and here i call it gita is the path to ananda so seven steps we talked about very first step last week which i'm going to just bring it again because just for our memory reminding ourselves because ultimately we have to practice ananda in every activity and every moment of our life so step number 1 going from here self awareness self analysis and sankalpa which we talked about last week also so set the goal and it says in bhagavad gita chapter 1155 this is basically the summary of whole bhagavad gita if you think about it and it says mat karm krat mat parmo mat bhaktas sang vivarjita nirvair sarv bhuteshu yasa mameti pandava in other words one he who performs all of his actions for me who makes me the supreme goal here is the key who makes me the supreme goal in other words who takes the sankalpa which comes in chapter 6 also in verse 24 talks about sankalpa and here it says mat parma mat parmo set the goal set the goal to be happy healthy so from today we have to make the commitment if we have not done it last week i just want to show you the movie here just for two minutes movie
from take a sankalpa now, right now, wherever you are sitting. But from now on, regardless what the situation is, I will learn to handle it. And that's what we are here for 18 weeks. We will learn how to handle it. But your job is only one right now. Make a sankalpa that I'm going to be happy, healthy, peaceful from now on. And then step one, which we talked about last week, self-awareness, just like Arjun, and analyze it. Arjun did with karpanya dosho pahat sabhava, pachyami tvam dharma samur chepa. We are not alone. We just have to experience that divine power is with us. God is always with us. But we have to first recognize ourselves. What are my issues? When we are depressed, that's what Arjuna's situation is. We should take, go to the divine help and ask that question, what, is, what are my issues? And here is again, I'm giving you the guidelines here, how to write down your issues here. Because in Gita, it says, Swadhyaya Bhyasnam, self-inquiry, it's very, very important because self-awareness and self-inquiry is the first step to realize who I am and I'm happy, healthy. This is the number one step. You must do that. And actually, self-awareness yoga, this is, I call it awareness yoga because I had given a long presentation on this one for three days. We worked uh, in Rishikesh in yoga conference on self-awareness yoga which is so important. So awareness of purpose of my life. We all have many purposes, but ultimately what is the purpose of my life? Be happy, right? Help others. Be healthy, peaceful. And am I working toward it? There's another question. Awareness of my physical body do I have good health? If not, what are my issues? Awareness of my thoughts and feelings. I put it in red specifically. What, what kind of things do I think most of the time? What bothering? It means that is bothering us. So we have to take care of that. Am I stressed out? Am I impatient? Do I have worry, fear? What am I doing to take care of my issues? The key question here is, so awareness of my action and speech, how I speak, what I do, where do I go? And who are my friends? This is what we are going to talk about it. How do I meet? Where do I go? And awareness of others. How can I help the community, nation, world? This is all a part of our life. We must take care of these things. So please, I will be putting this presentation also on the on our um, group. So please, you can always look at it and go back. But if you have any question, please let me know. But again, this is a summary. Do self-analysis, ask yourself causes of my unhappiness. Desires, anger, greed, discontentment, doubts, ego. This is a very key one. We are not aware of it when we feel hurt. Nobody has hurt us physically, but we get hurt when somebody tells us something. It means our ego is hurt. And that something needs to be worked very much. And we will talk about it in the session, how to handle that part. And worldly attachments, unduly attachments like Dhritarashtra. Jealousy, resentment, like Duryodhana, jealous, jealousy to Pandavas all the time. And we have, we are no different. 
Sometimes we are Duryodhana, sometimes we are Arjuna, sometimes we are Lord Krishna. We are all that. And Guruji told me, just be Arjuna. Learn, 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 learn. And this is what we are here for. So stress, fear, make a list. Again, I put it here again, make a list. It is so important. So many expectations and we are slave of them. And see what happens like this. Imagine whenever you are angry sometime or upset, go and look at yourself in the mirror and see how you compare with this particular image. Maybe not externally, but internally, our blood pressure will tell us that this is what's happening. So just know who is happy and unhappy person. Just a summary here, I put it together so we can actually look at it. Selfish people want to control every situation. Unduly attachment, too many desires, ego, anger, anxiety, hatred, jealousy, fear, worries, and bondage all that time, slave of anxiety and stress. But happy people, selfless, they're and this is a very key point here. Selfless, selfless does not mean we become a doormat of other people. We still have to love ourselves. We still have to take care of our body, our needs, and not allow other people to take in charge of our life. And that is selflessness. Not selflessness that I give away everything and let people treat me the way I want because I have to serve everybody. I'm a selfless. No. This is a very fine line between selflessness and selfishness. And he, he or she controls, controls their desires, detachments, humble. They are very humble people, very flexible, calm. Maybe they might not seem calm on the outside, but inside they're calm. They know how to handle it. And love, nonviolence, ahinsa, all this is given in chapter 16, chapter 13, chapter 10, chapter 7, in Bhag and chapter 12. And even in chapter 16, it is started, Abhayam, Satya, Sam, Sudhir, and Ahinsa, everything is described, 26 qualities of the happy people. And forgiving is the key. In fact, I had a whole series of forgiveness program for five days. It is on my website, on YouTube, you are welcome to go and watch them. And actually you can subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can, all this will be listed there as well. So you can also get the message that we posted. So attain and finally they are free. It's not that they are free from the end of the life, but they are free. They feel liberated because the things don't bother them internally, externally it might, but externally, as I said before, that, when there is a rain, even though we put the raincoat, we still get some water and we get wet, but we are still protected. Similarly, externally, for a momentarily, we feel unhappy at that time, but we bounce back a lot faster. So step two, today, this is where the session is starting, step two. Self-acceptance and good company, that's where we will be talking about it. And again, here, Good company, Arjuna's good company was what? Lord Krishna. And our good company is Bhagavad Gita in the form of Lord Krishna. And that's the reason I call Gita is a path to Ananda. And if we don't want to read all the complete Bhagavad Gita, as I said, I have 108 mantras here, which is uh, which took about 10 years to come up with that book. Or maybe I said 20 years the mantras which help me to transform. So step two in summary, focus on self-transformation. This is the key. Do not blame others or external situations. Many times things happen to us. We, stop, we start blaming others. It happened to me because of you, because of you or because of this situation, or because of my boss, because of my company, because of my spouse, because of my children. 
I got sick because of this. This is all, think about it. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna did not even mention even once to Arjuna that you have to fight because Dhritarashtra has done this to Pandavas and Duryodhana has done this. He says, no, whatever your duty is, whatever your responsibility is, you must fulfill as a Kshatriya. So in other words, we must take responsibility of our action. And many times things happen. Maybe it's because of our karma, karmic bondage, karmic loans, and we don't know. We read it in chapter 4, 17, verse 17. It says, finding out why it happened because of our karma, because everything is cause and effect. It's a very gera, deep, deep, deep subject and not subject knowledge, wisdom. And I don't think any one of us or even big saints or anybody can find out. And it's somebody it says in that one phrase, Gunoka Dhundana is such a difficult thing. So that's why I just put it this slide. His fault, her fault. Their fault, not me. We just think about that. But no, this is all our karmic bondage, karmic cause and effect. So stop blaming others or situations or even the COVID or even the China. China government has done this. I don't know. I, I still blame them, being very honest. And I was the first one in the family about more than a year ago. I said, no, they may, they built the COVID in their labs and they have spread it. And everybody was upset with me because I was thinking very negative about China. And now they all realize it. But again, it doesn't matter. I had to stop blaming them. And now I don't blame them. I say, maybe it's a karmic, whatever it is, I have no answer for it. But on a face value, yes, I did. So we are all do that, but we have to pull ourselves back. So here it says, Eisenhower said that, let's never waste a minute thinking about people who do not like us or who do not like. Or in Gita says, Shubha Shubha Paritya. It's a very good verse in chapter 12, verse 17. Yuna harshti na dveshti na sochti na kaanshti shubha shubha parityagi bhakti man me priyo nara. Whoever does not blame, think about negative or positive and whatever is happening focuses on his own responsibilities very dear to me. And then of course, self-acceptance and have a divine company. So self-acceptance. This is my beautiful prayer. I got this prayer about 35, 40 years ago, and I loved it. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. The courage to change the things which I can, and the wisdom is to know the difference. Where should I put my energy on it? And this beautiful one, I really, I laughed about it when I saw this lady who is saying it. Grant me the serenity to forget the people I never liked anyway. The good fortune to run into the one I do and the eyesight to tell the difference. She's saying it, but she's saying it more, I think a more practical way I would say. So step two. Have a divine good company. Arjuna got out of miseries because he had a Lord Krishna with him. But living in this world, there are many noble people. There are many good friends, good counselors. We should have a company of people. We should always think about it. Who is my company? As I said in the previous slide, we should check. Because the type of people we mingle, it says just, there is a very good phrase. It says, show me your friend and I will know who you are. So whoever our friends are, 
we basically behave that way. Or our habits also, we are influenced. It's a peer pressure. Look at the teenagers, how much they get influenced. Even we get influenced. So company of positive people. But again, company of our own thoughts is very, very important how we think. Like Gita has dhyayato, so many times it says dhyayato. Dhyayato vishyantams are first thing that is start. Think about it, the way, whatever you think, that's what your life will become, your character will become, your speech will become, your action will become, your habits will become, your luck will become, your destiny will become. This is so thoughts are very, very important. And that's why you look at the chapter six whole, dhyana yoga, what we should do, do the dhyana on it. And all the time, Lord Krishna says, live in my consciousness, live in my dhyana. Means have a positive thought. Don't get hopeless. I am with you. Don't get, get discouraged. So we have to basically control our thoughts and what we eat. Here, I just put the, some picture of this, all the green vegetables and all that. It's very, very important that we eat the food which does not come from hurting other souls. Just fresh fruit and vegetables. It is called sattvic food. The type of books we read, the type of scriptures we read, books, scriptures, whatever you want, Ramayana, Gita, whatever, uh, uh, Guru Nanak, Ji, Guru Granth Sahib, whatever gives you, calms you, because the whole thing is calming our self. Our mind gets very disturbed when we are, something happens like water, you know, they call it in the lake. Lake gets disturbed and we cannot see the bottom of it, which is where that's where the we are, our two nature resides. Such chitananda, it gets disturbed, it gets blocked, like sunlight gets blocked with the clouds. Our beauty gets blocked with all these disturbances. So when we read these books, it automatically calms us down. When we do meditation, it calms us down. But we should have the company of good people, good books, good food, and then company of, I call it Om Anandam Vidin. Om is my company and I always preach it, practice it and talk about it. And company of light within, it will come automatically. So be a good company. It's not that we just have to look outside. We must be a good company to other people and mentor to others too. In other words, if some of our friends tell us something, we should maintain the confidentiality rather than judging them or talking or gossiping about any situation. Because sometimes people will open up their heart to you and we should be more supportive rather than causing more problems for them or judging them. So going back here, Accept courage and wisdom. Here, these prayers are good to accept, but one thing I want to make sure, whoever we are, we might have many faults. We might have done many things wrong in our life. But in Lord Krishna says in Gita in chapter 9, he says, Ki jisne bhot, the people who have caught, done a lot of sins, even they start Praying, uh, uh, practicing the goodness now, practicing, doing the spiritual practices, still that time is not lost. So first we should accept it. We did it, ignore, whatever we have done it, we have done it with ignorance. We did not, we are good people. We don't do things, bad things. But when we are getting too emotionally, our ego is hurt. Sometimes we say certain things and then later on we regret. And that's where, the forgiveness comes because if we do not accept, it all cause and effect. And that causes our karmas. And the forgiveness, forgiveness is the ointment for all of our miseries, forgiving ourselves and others, but ourselves first because we feel very guilty and unhappy because of those things. We have to let go of those things. So now we will go and do 
meditation. And I want to emphasize, as I mentioned before, this is the ABL meditation technique. Om Mantra with breath and then with light, which you will experience it with that meditation, which God developed, I think, Maybe it took 30 years to develop that. I don't know how long because I started doing meditation, I think about 44 years ago or something. And that was again the blessing of God. It's not that I started it. It's just that in my dream, when I say whatever it was, Om Mantra came and enlightened, just totally enlightened me with that for whole night. And I did not know what it was. But later on, when I start enjoying that light and that mantra, I learned that was the meditation contemplation because in those days I had never heard about the meditation or anything. So I think it was the grace of God that without knowing I was doing it, but again here, put the focus on breath very much. And the mantra for today, last week, the mantra was, I am awakened because it was focused on the awareness. This week and today's meditation mantra will be, I accept myself, whoever I am. And I am healthy, happy, and peaceful soul. I am Satchitananda. That will be our meditation. So I'm going to unshare this and then let's all sit down very comfortably wherever we are. The key here is comfortably because any discomfort during the meditation it goes deeper and deeper in our subconscious mind. And meditation is for cleansing our subconscious mind, reprogramming the software of our mind, deleting all the old information and replacing it with new program. So meditation is all for new programming for our mind and self-transforming. So be very comfortable wherever you are. Sit very comfortably. Make sure your back, your neck region, your head, all are aligned and straight. During the meditation, the energy flows from Kundalini Shakti, which is Kundalini Shakti. This is called the energy, Kundalini Shakti, divine power. From our tailbone, Muldhara Chakra, to all the way to our crown chakra. And when we are connected, when the energy flows, it connects us from the supreme power. In other words, the sunlight directly comes to us. The energy comes to us through our top region and fills our body. So the flow of energy is very important. And if we, our back, our head and neck is not straight, then it creates a blockage of energy. To make sure You are comfortable sitting straight. Now focus on the breath.
take a deep breath all the way down to your body balloon your body with the breath imagine your body is a balloon getting filled with the pure oxygen through your nostril hold it for a few seconds exhale very gently through your nostrils take another deep breath hold it longer this time exhale another deep breath hold it even longer than before exhale gently and now breathe normally and with every breath smile in smile out this is smile we will create anandam feeling happiness feeling in you so smile in smile out smile in smile out continue to breathe normally and now let's recite the om mantra three times please do not unmute just do it wherever you are Oh Oh now feel this om energy that sound is attached with every breath you are taking in through your nostrils going in filling every cell of the lungs
and healing the lungs to breathe normally. All the blockages disappearing. Now feel that pure energy is entering the heart region. Moving everywhere in the body with the bloodstream. The lower part of your stomach. Feel it. To your thighs. Feel the energy in your thigh area. Moving down. To your legs. Knees. Legs. All the way down to your toes. Feel it. And continue to smile. Feel the energy in your back region, in your spinal area. You might feel the energy going from lower part of your spine, moving upward. Feel the energy. In your shoulders part, arms, fingers, continue to smile. Feel the energy in your throat region. Jaws, cheeks, ears, eyes, the middle of your eyebrow region, the third eye chakra. Just focus on that region. Enjoy the golden light or whatever color of light you are seeing. Enriching the pure energy and light and your smile, Anandam. Complete crown chakra, the head region. Just feel the vibration 
if you feel any ants are crawling or some sensation, just let it go. Feel the connection beyond your head region all the way to sky. The golden light is enriching the entire body. The only thing you will be experiencing is light. Entire body is filled with this pure healing, pranav energy, divine shakti. And now, repeat with me. I'm awakened. I am awakened. I am awakened. The purpose of my life is to be happy, healthy, and peaceful. I am working toward it. I am healthy, happy, and peaceful. My true nature is Sat Jit Ananda. I am Sat Jit Ananda. I accept myself, whoever I am. I forgive myself. I am sorry for all the misdeeds I did knowingly or unknowingly. I forgive myself for hurting anybody in my life. And I forgive others who may have caused me some difficulties in my life. Knowingly or unknowingly. I love them all. And I love myself. We are all one. I 
I mingle with divine people who uplift me. who help me to achieve the purpose of my life, be healthy, happy, and peaceful. I eat sattvic food. I stay away from the food which comes from hurting other souls and other living beings. I watch only programs which uplift me, raise my conscious level, I am calm. Feel the calmness in your body and smile. Feel that light in every cell of your body. Removing all the darkness all the concerns, removing fears, worries, dissolving all the doubts, Feel that every cell of the body, every DNA, every gene, every atom, electrons, protons, neutrons, empty spaces in the body are all enriched. With this pure divine healing Shakti and golden light. Feel the smile on your face. Every cell is smiling in your body with your smile. Feel the connection, the showering of the energy from the top to the body, entire body. Feel, you, feel your heart is filled with forgiveness and love and compassion for yourself and for others. And send this love to all of your family members, regardless
without judging them for their behavior. This is your positive energy will transform your surroundings as well. Send, send this pure Anandam energy to your near and dear ones, your loved ones, the entire community. The whole nation. And the universe. The study shows that you sending this energy is reaching almost million particles, living beings, non-living beings, people, and making the difference with your positive energy. You are the source now. Because you are filled with pure Satchit Anand energy. You are that sunlight. You are that sun. Emitting the sunlight to the whole universe. Om Shanti 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 And now bring that energy back from external world to your own head region. And from there your face, neck, chest, all the way down to your bottom of your body, your Mudhara Chakra. Your hips. Asato maam satgamiya, tamso maam jyotirgamiya, mrittur maam amritam gamiya. Om shanti 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 hi. Peace for my body, peace for my mind and peace for the universe. And now rub your hands and put it on your head, tap it, massage your face and your entire body because your hands are filled with this pure Anandamai Shakti. And now rub your hands again. Make a small cup, put it on your eyes And open your eyes very gently. 
And thank you very much for being a part of this wonderful presentation and meditation and generating this beautiful, pure, divine Shakti and sharing it with the universe. Thank you.